Hello, uh, welcome to this, the first of uh, what we hope to become a series of uh, Pyara update videos. Uh, this one is coming hot on the heels of the latest release of Pyara, uh, version 161. Um, and we intend to make these uh, update videos with every release. Uh, and hopefully with that, we'll be able to um, highlight some of the more interesting parts from the release notes. Um, which seem to be getting longer and longer with every release. Uh, so um, anything that um, is particularly uh, noteworthy we'll be able to highlight in these videos. Uh, we also intend to do uh, other update videos as well. Uh, maybe some uh, interviews with some of the developer, development team, the people that are actually going to be uh, writing these new features and, and fixes. Uh, we'll be doing some more community focused videos, uh, perhaps Q and A's, um, so if you want to uh, submit questions to us, then uh, we'll hopefully uh, answer some of them in these kind of videos. So first, uh, I want to look at a couple of brand new features. Uh, the first one that we're going to look at is the uh, health check service. Uh, now, this is completely new. Uh, it's been written from scratch by one of our developers, Matt, based in uh, Turkey. Uh, and we will be having um, a more in-depth uh, video interview with uh, with Matt in the coming uh, weeks, uh, just to go over a little bit about um, how the health check service actually works, uh, what it is a bit more in, in depth. Um, all this information you can uh, find uh, on our website, on um, the Pyara wiki uh, that we're looking at here in GitHub. Um, and that's gonna describe a little bit about um, how to actually use it. Um, so what it is, just from a high level perspective, is something for um, particularly operations teams. Uh, so this is going to be something that will let you monitor things like CPU usage, garbage collection, uh, and it's going to print out that the health of those kind of services uh, into the logs. So that's a, a really useful feature that we're um, uh, looking forward to uh, getting your feedback on um, and something that we're looking to uh, develop more over coming releases as well. Uh, now there's another two uh, features that we've uh, included for this release as well, again targeted towards um, op operations teams. Uh, we've got both the um, uh, SQL tracing uh, and slow SQL logging uh, that Steve actually already written a blog about. Um, now what this is for is to uh, give you an idea about which uh, SQL uh, queries you're running. Uh, might be causing any performance impact. So um, when you turn this on, it's a configurable threshold. When uh, a query goes over that threshold, uh, a warning message will be posted into the logs. Uh, and again, this is a feature that, where we'll be um, having a chat with Steve uh, in an upcoming video, um, and we'll get a bit more detail on um, his motivations for writing it, um, why he's uh, done things in the way that he has, and um, the, the benefit that this could bring to uh, to operations teams. And alongside that, we've also added um, a couple of more descriptive names to uh, certain threads that were being spawned with uh, just generic names. So if, if you'd have seen these in the logs, they would have just had um, generic threads for, spawned from generic pools. So diagnosing issues, there would have been no help at all. So that's something else for operations teams to look forward to. Moving on now to uh, fixes, we've got two fixes for Pyara Micro. Uh, one which makes JBatch uh, lazily initialize, um, which should speed up boot times uh, a fair bit. We've also um, added the functionality to be able to deploy ears and jar files to Pyara Micro. Uh, so before the 161 release, you'll find that you could actually only deploy WAR files. Uh, so that's been updated for this release. Now, one of the more major fixes that we've got for this release is a fix to an exploit in uh, Woodstock, which is part of um, the administration GUI. So if you're using the uh, admin console and that was uh, publicly available um, in either Glassfish or Pyara uh, prior to version 161, um, there was an exploit which allowed um, uh, an arbitrary file read. So any file on the uh, file system uh, could be read. Um, so obviously quite a serious uh, 
bug. So what we've done is, uh, as well as including a fix for that in version 161, uh, we've also got a hotfix which is uh, available uh, to you and um, instructions to download that and get that patched up and installed uh, are on our blog. Now also as part of this um, video, I would also like to, on behalf of the whole PyR team, uh, extend a big thank you to our community, um, particularly to those of you who have been helping us out on, on GitHub by uh, raising issues and um, highlighting bugs, but also those that have been uh, contributing fixes. So in this release, we've got a number of fixes uh, from uh, David Matichek, um, particularly one where he's added support for uh, Informix for EJB timers. Uh, we've also had a fix to Pyara Micro from uh, Abhishek Gupta. So uh, thank you very much for those. Um, but if you're watching this and you think, well, sure, I'd like to contribute to Pyara, I'm a Pyara user, um, but maybe you don't have the time to dedicate to writing a fix uh, for any particular bug, um, that's okay, you can still contribute. Um, and what I would like to do is extend uh, a special thank you to uh, Sergei Lysenko, who uh, supplied us with uh, a very useful test case uh, to solve a problem with WebSockets and the uh, at onopen method. Um, so thank you, Sergey. So anyone else who doesn't have the time to um, maybe write the, the fix themselves, just a test case um, in that situation made things really, really easy for us. So uh, yeah, I think we got that fix done in, uh, in about an afternoon. Um, a few of the developers all sat down together for that. So thank you very much to our community. And finally, just as we wrap up, um, just want to uh, say thank you for watching, uh, for one thing. Uh, and also, uh, if you did enjoy this video, please let us know. If you didn't enjoy it, again, let us know. Uh, it's the first time we've done one of these, so your feedback is what's going to make it good and useful. If you didn't think it was very useful, then um, we won't know unless you let us know. Um, so upcoming videos we've got, um, we have planned to do, as I said earlier, a, a more in-depth look at the health check service uh, that Mert has added and the uh, SQL logging that uh, Steve has added. Um, we've also got a new team member starting soon, so uh, we'll get him to introduce himself a little bit. Um, and then if we can uh, get together some uh, questions for, from you, the community, uh, we'll look to create a video to answer those. So be on the lookout for any uh, tweets or blog posts asking for your questions to be submitted. Um, you should see those pop up uh, fairly soon from Dominica. So thanks again for watching uh, and I hope you'll tune in again to our next video.